Hey guys, this is Daniel Johnston from DanskD2015.wordpress.com, also known as Technology Help Online. I'm going to change it to soon, not to site build it as I previously said, but instead I'm going to change it to um, let's see, Website Palace. Um, I want to shout out to Lisa Irby, as I did two videos ago on Twitter as an effective marketing tool. I no, well, I think that's the one it was. I don't remember. All, all I know is that I shot out to it before, and I want to do it again. She really has some great videos. I think you should really check them out if you haven't already. Her websites are to create a website com, to plan a website, website battle, and flat stomach exercises. I know she's not paying me to do this. I'm just doing it on my own. But... Today, I would like to talk to you about why customization is key in blogging. Now, I know you always hear content is key, content is key, and content is key. They're king. And before you sign off that I'm crazy and all these bad things about me, um, just think, I, I com um, commend you to think of it this way. Imagine a door with three keys. One of them is a padlock. The padlock represents the content. The other two keys represent what I think are the other two keys to blogging. Marketing and customization, or the look of your blog. Without all three keys, you'll never be able to get in. But with all three keys... It will be a simple matter to unlock the door. Now, I know that there are exceptions. And a lot of people don't need marketing or they don't need customization because their content is just so great. But I'm talking to the average person. And I don't think the average person is going to have, you know, such great content because if they did, then everyone's website would be popular. I, you know, even if you don't have marketing or a great blog, I mean a great look, then people will still probably spread the word around Google, with Google page rank if they rank you high since you have. Well, eventually you're going to get some traffic if you do, if you have great content, even if you don't have it. But if people like your site, then you'll obviously get a lot of traffic. But most people don't have great content. Most people have average content. And that's why the average person is called an average blogger. Because their content is not that great. But what a lot, the main thing that separates an average um, blogger from a great blogger is that, sure, the average blogger, yes, they do usually market. But most of them do not really make their blog that great. Now, I know content, focus on content more, but if you have the great content, then this is what you need to focus on. And it's, it's if, assuming, that, assuming that you already have great marketing, or do market at least, the average. You know, really, even if you do have great content, I think that the average content plus the average marketing plus the average customization is better than having great content and not having customization or marketing at all. And that's because, as you could see on my blog, if you simply go to my blog, um, Technology Help Online, enter into the HTML bar, johnstond2015.wordpress.com. But, really, you need to have customization. And customization, what I mean by that, is the ability to change your website now. I don't have it, so you could call me a hypocrite at the time of this video, but I guarantee you that I'm switching to Website Palace. And that I know it was a mistake to start on WordPress. 
everyone makes mistakes. And I'm going to make a huge amount of mistakes in my blogging career. As did everyone. I don't think anyone went their whole career without making any mistakes whatsoever. So, the reason why customization is so important is because the first impression. The first impression, as I said in my blog, is what dictates usually what people think of your blog. The average time on your blog is a bit over one minute, and that's probably dragged up on blogs that they already know, they love, you know, checking out some new posts. If it was on first-time blogs, that would probably be a scary number. So, customization. Without customization, you can't possibly have a great um, looking blog. Because really, you know, WordPress tools are great. You know, all of these great things. But still, customization is really key to have a successful blog. Because... My WordPress scene, you know, it's okay. It's not the best, though. Once I get thesis, I, you can do whatever you want to your blog. And you don't really have to get into all this, you know, bad, this crazy code, at least for me. And please don't criticize me if, because I don't really know code. Just because you don't know code doesn't mean that you don't know about blogs. Now, I admit, I, people, if, if I declared myself a programmer or designer or a code master, you could get dog on me because I'm not. I am simply a website creator. I do not get into too complicated code, but I do, I do know basic code. Almost, if you don't know basic code, um, you're really in trouble because that's the code of the internet. So, with a free server though, they really won't let you do anything. I mean, they won't let you customize it because they want you to buy their service. And if you have a bad looking blog, then people are not going to respect you. They're just going to click off. Because they assume that your blog isn't good. I know that I'm not proud to admit it, but I've been on blogs. They might have had great content, maybe not. But I was immediately turned off by the fact that their design was terrible. It just gives people a bad impression. And to maximize your results, if you're trying to, if you're serious about this like I am, or more serious than me, you, you know, you want to quit your job, then... You need to buy a web host that offers you full and complete customization over your blog so that you decide the way that it looks. So that you decide whether people's first impressions are great or not. You decide your traffic. Not, not the web host. You don't want the web host deciding traffic for you. You want it to be in your own hands. And to do that, you need to have, be able to customize it and do whatever you want to it. And with a free server, you just can't do that.